our 75 years on the air, we've covered many decisions by a city of St. Louis Alderman, but one made on November 15, 1963, gave us all a spot to marvel at fireworks, rally and protest, and celebrate with the festival of the season. Robert Townsend takes us back to when Keener Plaza was just a downtown improvement project. In the 1960s, $1 million was enough to buy two acres of land in the middle of downtown St. Louis. The one by two city block site would become one of the bi-state's most popular meeting spots. November 15, 1963, Alderman voted to sell city improvement bonds to acquire the strip of land west of the old courthouse. The simple vote became the foundation for years of public gatherings. Like many good things, it took time to get Keener Plaza going. Our rooftop interview from March 1966 about the new Bush Stadium shows, the unfinished grounds of the plaza. By October 1966, work on the plaza was wrapping up and the iconic runner statue was unveiled. The bronze figure was part of a $200,000 memorial gift from the estate of Olympic runner Harry Keener. The runner fountain would become the backdrop of community events for years to come. The water dyed pink for breast cancer awareness, red for the Cardinals World Series run in 2011, blue to cheer on our hockey team making the 2012 playoffs. If the statue could talk, it tell us all about concerts, protests, festivals and fireworks. Earning an upgrade in 2015, Keener Plaza got a shiny new look. Interactive water fountains for kids and kids at heart to play in, a playground, um, uh, shade gardens and, and groves, cafe seating, a very large uh, event lawn that can seat up to 2,200 people for concerts. Every November, the Christmas tree goes up and the ice rink opens for Keener's newest holiday tradition, Winterfest. For whatever happens at Keener in the new year, five on your side will be there. And our anniversary coverage continues online. You can find all kinds of fun facts and historic footage at ksdk.com slash 75.